Hey guys, Adam Mega ACS Radical here, and thank you for checking out this episode of the VCR Podcast. For more content, you can visit our Instagram at vcr.podcast. If you're looking for a video version of this podcast, you can visit my YouTube channel at CS Radical. And if you're coming from the YouTube channel looking for an audio version of the podcast, you can check us out at anchor.fm slash VCR Podcast for all available platforms. Thanks for checking us out, guys, and let's get on with the show. You have entered the realm of the VCR Podcast with your host, Vish. They're just bastardizing our childhood and the classics. Chris. Nintendogs so, drove me. It's what makes me want to hurt people. Radical. People in general still bitch about everything. Yeah. It still doesn't change. Let the podcast begin. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the VCR Podcast, the only podcast that predates itself in the moment the title is spoken. It's a me, a CS Radical, a.k.a. Adam, because, you know, I guess I have a normal name once in a while. But uh, we got Vish and Chris here with me, the full What's crew. Up, Hello, friends. No, no uh, Adam Trump or Britney bitch this week again, so it's just the uh, the gruesome threesome. Ooh, Ooh the OG like three, that. the big three. The gruesome threesome. The like three that. musketeers. Well, normally it's the gruesome twosome, but fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have time to think of a rhyme on the fly. Usually I, saying I, fuck I, it is I, how I, you I, end just, up in threesomes. Just to say, I am the third one. I am, I am here. <laughs> I did here. say you were here. You said twosome. I know. I said normally the line is it's gruesome twosome, but I said gruesome threesome because I didn't have time to think of a rhyme. We'll, we'll figure out next time, guys. So this is what happens when people don't listen here on the VCR podcast, which actually is probably part of the bingo card as well these days. Yes. We will actually work on a bingo card. Yeah, we need to I make really a, am tempted we to, need make to make it official. I will, I will make it in the, within the next two weeks. <laughs> Does I anybody will. have a printer? I want this printed out and on my desk. <laughs> the printer is in the... Uh, which is this table when I arrive. <laughs> <laughs> so, as per usual, we start off the show by talking about what we've been up to. Now, we're going to try to keep this somewhat concise because there's actually a lot to talk about beyond uh, just what we've been doing this week because uh, actually some interesting stuff's happened in a little, yeah, a little bit. It has been. Madden has competition. Oh, God. I'm going to get me started with that. Uh, anyways, <laughs> let's, it's true. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start with Chris on this one. What have you been up to? Uh, so, I haven't been up to too much. Uh, I finished off Final Fantasy XIII 2, which I mentioned last time I'd been working on. Um, I mean, there's no nothing that, to that say ending. here. ending... That ending was hard. I forgot about the ending. That it I wouldn't was, even say it's hard. It's just I, uh, like, what? Yeah, like it was like, ah, oh, we did it. Vicious Happy music. Being like, I oh, have no wait. idea what they're talking uh, about. Honestly, like the whole Final Fantasy games having sequels of sequels, it's just like, it's so fucking confusing yes. to me. Yeah, Final you think Fantasy learned- 13 2? You think they would have learned after Dirge of Cerberus didn't do that well? I didn't ever. I never played that. One. It's. Not, I actually like it, but like I can understand why a lot of people did not appreciate it. What they should do to fuck around people. Super Mario 2. 2. That would be... Yeah. Well, technically, Super Mario 2 isn't even Super Mario 2. Yeah, yeah but, uh, that's but again, true. I'm, they all, that's I'm, also... I'm going on a tangent here, so I'm not going to do that. So yeah. Final Fantasy 13 2. Now, yeah. as a whole, I think that it's actually okay. It's it's definitely the better of the I three. I like it. Yeah, it's my favorite of the... Well, okay. I've never played Lightning Returns. That would be what Please I do don't next. Do, so, okay, so oh, no, I'm, I own it, us, and I'm playing it. It's the better of the two. Yeah, it is definitely <laughs> the better of the two between 13 and 13 2. It's a lot more open, too. Yes. It, it gives you, even though the, the timelines that are in the game, because you go back and forth through different timelines, Vish, mm. it isn't technically is it, is open. Is it kind of like a uh, Assassin's Creed type of thing? No, 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 no. Like, you literally go between timelines like it's Back to the Future shit. Yeah. Huh. Think um, Chrono tr- Trigger in a mixed way, yeah. with Final Fantasy. Just, just don't say more. Chrono Cross because I hate that fucking game. Fuck you, it's still good. Yeah, it's a good um, I hate that fucking game. As a whole, the timelines themselves, like, you can go back and forth between times, but for the most part... You're still kind of going in a linear line on where you're going. Yeah. You can go back for, like, little yeah. things. I forgot how much side questing there actually is that they just don't even tell you about. Yeah, no, there's a lot they don't like, mention. I got to the end, or, like, what would be the last timeline area or whatever year to go fight the main boss. And I was like, there's so much more to do. I had, like, 60 fragments of 160. I'm like, no, fuck that. I'm going to get you more. You probably even look at the hours overlevel. that you put in and be like, this seems short. Yeah. And I'd played through it before, and I platinumed it on PS3 back in the day. So I still remember everything I when, had to do. When Chris was console gaming. Yes, back when I was. Yeah, well, before, I mean, I've got a Switch. Before still... he didn't have a massive Steam backlog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Anyway. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That part of the podcast is for the Patreon uh, viewers. What? The, I thought we Chris, were the, is that the name of threesome. Your... I thought. <laughs> is that the name of your sex tape? Yes. Fuck me. Yes. <laughs> It's a very straight to the point sex tape name. There's actually a question mark at the end. We are on a co- <laughs> casting couch, as we've mentioned. So it's a very comfortable couch. It's, yeah, they better be that for you the apparently never stay on. To be on it. 
Um, but yeah, I liked it, obviously. I've already played through it again, nothing crazy there. Um, but I got more into The Witcher 3, and I went hard into The okay, Witcher so 3 for a couple have, reasons. You have never finished The Witcher 3, no, right? No, I was about have, 15. Oh, Adam, have you? Oh, he's gonna now. Yeah. yeah, absolutely I did. And I probably put like 120 in it. Fuck. And actually in the game, Geralt I says several so much more, and he's more funny and stuff. He's got so much more personality than than the show but i mean his personality in the show wouldn't have worked it would have come across like campy i'm sure i think yeah. it's just like it's the first season so there's they were kind of like ex- like just seeing like what works or works what doesn't it was like the walking dead the first season it was like yeah i mean at least we weren't sitting there with henry cavill being like why do you know that name Martha. Was, i i still <laughs> think henry cavill never got the never never got a proper chance to really reprise superman yeah. Well, yeah, that's because they, spoiler alert, killed him off way too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Wow, dude. Sorry. It was, you know what? Go ahead, Chris. I, we'll talk about that part another episode. So I ended up going back to The Witcher for two reasons. One, I finished Final Fantasy XIII, too. And, and I think you were telling us you got it on Switch. Yeah. So, so have, I bought the so game. you get to a, see some really grotesque time. shit while, a, while like halfway ready to go to bed. Yeah. So I also, the other reason um, is I was tweaking my system a bit. I was playing around with NVIDIA's settings uh, for my graphics card. And I get f- like, I was having trouble with 4K before. And then after playing with the settings, I actually get like 4K 60 frames a second now. Chris now sees 3D without I glasses. can smell the colors of the game. Like when I'm playing <laughs> all these games now, it's just insane. That's hot. Yeah, it's super hot. Bounch. Come I mean, on, especially on. in Witcher because there's all these. Super hot in VR. I do not have any VR. That's that is something I would try, but probably wouldn't put a lot. I've heard in. that's a fucking workout in yeah. VR. <laughs> I could imagine. Uh, um, but yeah, so or... no, super hot. Oh uh, yeah. It's uh, long, long story never... short, it's a VR game with you, like a bunch of bun- a bunch of bunks, Jesus, English, a bunch of pixelated guys where you're like they're trying to shoot you and you got to shoot them or yeah. throw shit at them. Yeah, think of first person oh, yeah, shooter, no, but like I in can... VR. Okay, yeah, that but I like just the be. multiplayer it's a, it, mode of like an N64 game. That I can. <laughs> it's, it like a, a it's like a ball. Like, no, it's not even a James like, Bond simulator. It's like John Wick simulator. Yeah, yeah, without so, the horse. Yeah, there's wait, no wait, horse, unfortunately. Does a dog die? No. no. Okay. So it's good. so it's it's a good John Wick simulator. Okay, good. But so like yeah. going back and playing Witcher, right? are you enjoying it more that you're playing through some of it again, maybe getting a little bit more out of it? Well, or? it was just I was still early enough in the game that I was still learning so many of the mechanics. It's like, you know, crafting this weapon, making this potion, um like the repairing oils your swords. weapons, oils going on swords, what armor you're gonna wear. So it's, where are the different the Witcher, quests? like it sounds like it has a lot of um manufacturing elements to the game there is a lot of it's, planning that goes into it depending yeah. on the level if you play it on like even normal yeah you got to spend a lot yeah and i'm on time. normal and you gotta like you can just go up to random enemies in the forest and like you die you gotta dodge you gotta like it's it they've made it slightly more Do realistic they throw wrenches at you Do you have to dodge no they show no they, they just monster they just, claws to your face yeah they just kill yeah. you yeah ram <laughs> yeah so now i've got really if that if something like that killed me i'd be like that's possible you'd be dead You'd just be dead. I'd just be like, I don't deserve a funeral. That was just fucking sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even game over. Just the game shuts down. You don't get to play this anymore. Yeah, no, no. Wow. The, the disc ejects itself. Um, but yeah, so I have 4K for the PC one. And like on the 4K TV, it looks beautiful. So I was playing it. And I actually got to the point where I now understand all the mechanics and everything. So now I'm just like, I mean, that obsessive part. Like oh. I am with like Odyssey where it's like, there's a, There's a side quest. There's a side quest. There's a side quest. There's a side quest. I'm doing that. The thing is, though, Odyssey doesn't have nearly, like, a lot of, like, really interesting side quests. Yeah, no. Witcher has a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Witcher has a phenomenal amount of really interesting side quests. And you do the side quests, and actually, like, some stories, I think they're done, but there's some side quests if you want to, like, finish the main story that was happening even a bit more like yeah it's, there's there's even there's even like side stories that happen later on that compliment stuff you already did yeah like so it's, there's it's nice, pretty there's nice callbacks yeah and because yeah. switch came out well like, sorry they the cd project red updated the switch version that it connects to the steam cloud like i play on the tv and then when i'm done i'm instinctively just grabbing the switch and then either so going on the couch or on bed you're able and to play save more in one gaming platform and it continues on in the other gaming platform yeah when you buy the game on switch it, there's a cloud saves option and when you go in it makes you put in your steam credentials and you authorize it and all that like thankfully the they're getting smarter with that like the game that i was telling you guys a while ago trails of cold steel 2 yeah as soon as i finished it i hit cross save so now when i play the new one on ps4 i can just transfer yeah. 
my old save from that. Mm. So all the stuff I've done previously and all the decisions I made can get brought in there. Yeah. Yeah, because it's insane. Like, this is a game changer. Like, playing it on the TV, but then, like, taking it with me. I know I was doing streaming to my phone and stuff, yeah, but yeah. that's the computer being on and you need a good connection. This is the game just running on the yeah, Switch, and I'm picking it's, up it's, right it's, from the save. It's a designated system for yeah. gaming, so... Yeah. yeah, and granted, it does depend, too, on you having the money to afford several versions yes, of it. Yes, like, the Switch version just came out in November, so I picked it up for 50 bucks. Yeah, like, it's Which is thing. still very expensive it's down one from thing 80 we, but yeah it's one thing that we talked about how um cyberpunk if you buy it on xbox one mm. you'll get it for the new xbox for free it's another thing to get it on two different consoles but the yeah. ab- the ability that you can play it while you're fully awake and sitting at your desk or on your on your tv with with steam and do that there and then you're like ah i'm not quite ready to go to bed but you know what i'm gonna just kind of lie down and kind of wind down and you can play for another hour on your switch like that's fucking great yeah it's insane. and you're not losing really data is. you're not losing progress yeah. you just need you know an internet connection to connect to the cloud save and so even if you're on the go it's kind of tough. but i mean yeah. just hotspot your phone for two seconds also if you're just even like on a plane or going on a road yeah. trip like yeah. it's just when i went to the philippines for two months that would have been insane amazing i wish i had this back then well, crazy. yeah, the thing, too, you could actually go somewhere else in the world, play it, as long as you have an internet connection, save it, go all the way back home, yeah. and all that stuff you did is still there. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the thing. It's uh, like, me, yeah. with now that Alienware is looking at making a Switch-type system. Yes. Like, that's a real possibility. Yeah, and, and don't get me wrong, the Witcher PC port that'll be on that Alienware one is going to be leagues better. It's crazy oh, how... Yeah. On well, the Switch the, uh, to get the Witcher the to run? The has a 540p resolution. I think it's like I, 544 or something. I think the screen is 720, technically, but the games that run it are usually like the Nintendo ones that don't... Like, Mario Odyssey is a great game, but because of, like, they're focused on colors and stuff, it's actually... It doesn't need a lot to run the well, game. Yeah, the thing yeah. is, though, when, it, um, when it's a system like that and when it's a resolution like that, It'll help run the game more smoothly, and frankly, you don't notice the difference. Yeah, no, no, you would Especially on that small no. screen. Yeah. From, for, at that size of screen, you're not going to yeah. notice. Except... If you, if, you, if you enlarge that screen to, like, a 55-inch screen, yes, yeah, you'll you, notice yeah, the difference. Yeah, yeah. In the same vein of me playing the, 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 uh, the Vita games on TV, it is noticeable. Yeah. But the thing is, with the Witcher port on the Switch, like, you see... It's not even 720p. I think it is 540 or 560 or whatever, like, yeah, yeah. something like that. And, like, it even has some PC, like, anti-aliasing and all that that you can turn on and off. Like, you can actually play with graphic settings. But, like, the original ones they had, they just had it blurry. Like, because it looked, like, less... You couldn't see any of the issues with it. But it also just looked blurry. Yeah. And I played with the settings a bit. And I'm like, okay, so now it looks more like a PC game. But it's, like, in 560p low settings. Yeah. And that's how they were able to get it to work on a system that basically doesn't have a and, designated and anybody who thinks that that's an issue it's like you weren't supposed to get witcher on no, no, switch no. and you have it on switch no, no, no. deal with exactly. it exactly yeah. and witcher frankly like should have been only for like hardcore consoles mm. like for for sure. television based consoles not a handheld console yeah. yeah it definitely wasn't designed to be no. on something that small no. but like it Maybe totally it works like if even if somebody like they don't like they don't have a pc or somebody who only owns a switch like Brittany, if she would ever pick it up like she probably wouldn't notice, like, because if it's the first one you've ever played, you don't have anything to compare it to. Yeah. But how does it but, appear on the television from the Switch? Program? I have not tried it on the television. I've heard that it goes up to about 720p. Yeah. So going from 4K, if you have it on PC, I believe it's like an upscaled 4K if you've got like PS so, Pro or Xbox what, One X. That's what it irritates me about 4K. It's like so little things are made in 4K, like to the point that even 720p shows relatively decently on a 1080p television oh yeah like i was running the game in 1080p before but it's just like as you put it up you don't realize how much just clearer yeah, and smoother it looks it's why like we've been saying for a while that for the new consoles and then we're gonna move on after this um it's more the the frame rate that's really matters because that is noticeable yeah. Yeah. 30 to 60 frames is beyond noticeable see that's and that was yeah. 1080p to 4k is if you if you're paying attention but if yeah. if you brought somebody into a room and just did 4K, 30 frames, and then 1080p, 
30 frames, it probably won't catch it right away. No, no. It's, no. it's the frames, yeah. yeah. And that was my issue before, because when I'd run it 4K, I could do 4K on my computer, no problem, but I was getting, like, 29 to 31 frames a second. Mm. And it was just, I just, I felt it. Like, when you're playing a game on the controller, it's just, like, this isn't moving as smoothly as I'm used to. Because I'd put it to 1080p, and I'd get, like, at least 60 frames, so. Yeah. yeah. And I, oh, I figured 4K it out. is such a fucking scam. Well, on yours, just do 1080p. It's fine. Exactly. No, that's the thing. 1080p is... Unless you're like four feet, unless you're like two feet away from the fucking TV, 4K is a scam. Yeah, in my opinion. Well, don't worry, we got 8K coming. So, yeah. anyways, yeah. Uh, Vish, speaking of uh, things frustrating, <laughs> you finally up, finished Fallen Order. Uh, yeah. So it has, as I've mentioned many times, I am not a Star Wars fan. This was my favorite thing of the entire Star Wars canon of the Star Wars, anything Star Wars related. This was, like, at the top. I mean, to be yeah. fair, in the last 10 years, you haven't had that much to choose from. In the last 10 years, no. Ooh. Yeah, it has, here, it's okay. been rough. So, I would say it's Star Wars Fallen Order, uh, Last Jedi, and Return of the Jedi. No, sorry, Empire Strikes Back. Those okay. Isn't three? that crazy? Oh, you're talking, like, gap. Star Wars, like, like from the very Wars. beginning. Think, think of that general. gap. Oh, though. I thought you were talking, yeah. I no, thought you were talking wait, about no, the what? games. I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, there's actually four of them. Uh, this game, Fallen Order, Rogue One, uh, Last Jedi, and Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, no, Rogue One was pretty good. Yeah. So, I liked Rogue One because, it, I'm sorry to go off topic, I liked Rogue One because it was a story that I was not expecting it. I didn't realize what the actual story was until the end where you saw Darth Vader. It's like, And not even to mention, when you really think about Rogue One, it isn't even really a Star Wars movie. No. Like, it's not a traditional Star Wars movie. No, it's, no? Uh, it's almost like a sci-fi action movie. Yeah. It takes place in the Star Wars universe, and but it's just, it's not but the it's lightsabers, also, it's not like, the Jedi. This was the other time that, um, you know what, uh, spoiler alert, that Darth Vader felt like a real threat. That's not a spoiler. Yeah. And, if, and if you, if you watch Star Wars, Darth Vader appearing no, is not I'm a spoiler. No, I'm talking about Fallen Order. <laughs> oh, Fallen Order. Oh, Fallen Order. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, with Fallen Order, like, when the brief time Darth Vader was there, it's like, this guy is fucking scary. Like, my only issue with Star Wars, and I think Darth Vader, I would appreciate him more, but I think his costume has, and even back in the old days, back in the 90s, back in, like, early Star Wars, when Star Wars was fresh, I never liked Darth Vader's costume. Well, also, <laughs> like, when you look back at it now, it does look a little bit, like, Cheap no, it's, 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 it looks it looks plastic. No, I mean, everybody does. in the Star Wars universe was wearing like Luke was wearing like a karate outfit or like a, <laughs> that was fine or, or like I, a I didn't pair mind of pajamas. Like I don't know what he was wearing. That's no. what we need. We need space karate kid. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't mind the like intergalactic gi. Like, yeah, the that I was okay with. But when I I just never liked the look of Darth Vader. The mask was okay, but the actual costume itself it just looked cheap and shitty. But this game though it actually it helps you like train as a jedi you appreciate the star wars lore a lot more in this type of medium mm. like and it wasn't like this was part of the skywalker storyline it takes place between attack of the clones and uh attack of the clones and revenge of no, the sith no sorry revenge of the revenge sith, sith and, and new then, hope and a new hope, hope. yeah so okay. it's between those two yeah, and it closer to this Rogue was one. like there was no Skywalkers besides Anakin. I'm sorry, Darth Vader, and and it was really cool to it got dark at certain points, like really dark. It the gameplay was amazing. There's a rarely seen lightsaber upgrade that is put into this game that is really awesome, and you use that upgrade majority of the time after you get it. And let was, me guess, double. Or the two sided. I will neither confirm or deny. So it's a two sided. It All right. <laughs> I, I know that's in it. It's okay. In it. So uh, that's like honestly, when you play Knights of the Old Republic, you almost exclusively go that route <laughs> for the most part. So I never played those ones, but this one, it legitimately felt like Uncharted in a Star Wars universe. And the only my only issue with this game, and it's not really an issue, there was no range attacks. So you would always have to do close quarter combats because you had the lightsaber the entire time and using the force the entire time. And you like, you enhance the force. Once you get like the, the pull force move, the game becomes significantly more 
uh, I, w- I don't want to say easy, but like less rage inducing. I would say okay. you have you have more options. Yeah, exactly. And the 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 side characters are also really cool. Like they're they're fun to deal with. Your robot, com- your droid companion is fucking awesome. It's like you're having your own BB-8. With yeah, you. yeah. It looks. It's funny because when I would see the videos for it, it's almost like the droid was like cat-like or something. Like as if you had it was like this a puppy. Almost. Yeah, it was like, like a, a puppy or a cat or so, or a parrot. Yeah, yeah. And it's on your shoulder oh, all the time. It, it, was, it was a cute. Ga- it was yeah. a cute thing, and it was actually very helpful and very yeah. useful. And I like the that entire game when you use the map. It was actually like it show came in the, over your shoulder the and map it was coming is out of it. Actually, not very user friendly. No, no, it's a little bit weird. It's a little three D. It's three D, yeah. and like it's you can't really like you know how most games you have a map you like. I want to get to this location, and there's like an icon showing go this way. Yeah. I like. I actually it. like it when games don't give you that because it means you're not just getting handheld the entire time. Yeah. The thing is, it's not a user friendly map. Well, it's, no, but what I mean is, like, I would rather a game not automatically just point you in the direction at all times because it kind of just it defeats the exploration purpose, which Fallen mm-hmm. Order does have. I yeah. get that. Uh, it's just the map itself is not very user friendly, mm-hmm. and the only thing is. You couldn't use a blaster, so that was the that was the only flaws I find with the game, and the combat. You're kind of the camera. So what you're saying is you're mad you couldn't shoot first. <laughs> yes. Um, Hunt did shoot first. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's allowed to murder people. It, so with the uh, the the game itself, like when you as you get along, the gameplay gets a lot better. But it's like Arkham Arkham right. Origins, where the battle and the combat was a little like flawed but that's also because it was the early stages of bruce wayne being batman so it made sense for it to be a little mm-hmm. flawed and not as perfected mm-hmm. i honestly it's my favorite thing that i've ever seen in a star wars anthology and universe and it really was it's a great game don't spend the 80 bucks on it. It's not worth no. it. I mean, I would almost tell people for the most part, unless you were know that you were going to get this and you were going to love it, don't spend 80 bucks on almost no. anything. Now. I'm going to get it and I'm going to love it. I can't, I actually, I can't wait to play it. I, no, I really wish I could, really, but I, I'm, I, I got to wait. I, I would have split it with you when it was on sale, but I got it on a really well, good Well, I mean, yeah. now at this point, like price. unless, unless you got money to burn, like if, if you are pinching a little bit, just deal with the backlog and wait for it to drop 20, and, 30 bucks. But also, it's not going to uh, take much. Uh, yeah. Also friends, Check the Facebook Marketplace because I've been finding a few gems there that are. I even found Star. I found this game on there that was several people were selling for fifty bucks, and I managed to end up telling the one person who was good with giving for for forty five. It's and that's in Canadian, bucks, by the way. So that's more like thirty five. Yeah. Yes. For the yeah. state for our American friends out there. If Steam games could be sold on the Facebook Marketplace, I would be living in a cardboard box with a backlog the size of what a person's house would look like chris would not have a job yeah it would be it's it's good that steam games can't be transferred and sold at a cheaper price between uh, people technically we are transferring our steam library to one another this is yes, true. technically this is true so yeah i I agree. Uh, I agree it's definitely a game that i do want to take a look at uh anything else you got before we move yeah, on yeah so um i watched the i decided to finally pull the trigger and watch the final fantasy animated series Final on Fantasy. netflix uh sorry uh castlevania i was like oh. what i was like what we spirits about... within's on netflix how do i get it how do i watch it do you want to watch spirits within again i own it it's fine i can watch it do you again. want to watch it again though i'll watch it again <laughs> begrudgingly he'll watch it again let's go back to yeah, yeah, castlevania yeah. okay castlevania. So castlevania oh my fucking god uh this is game of thrones level brutality yeah, it is. Like yeah. it is. Have you watched it? At no, all? but I've seen clips. Yeah. Dude, watch it. Like I'm. Like if you can find a way to watch it, because I. I'll pirate it. <laughs> I was mind. I was legitimately mind blown. I was like, because I, I never really played the Castlevania games back in the day, and I'm like, oh, I wonder how this is. I the then there. It's a short series. Each episode's less than a half hour long. The first season's four episodes. Second season's eight episodes. Third season's ten episodes. Yeah. So far. And it's like legitimately, like, there's no hold bar. There, it, it's like f- fucking brutal. Like people die in ways that is will make Game of Thrones be like, oh man. Yeah. Well, yeah, like in the it, first it, episode alone. It, it helps <laughs> when it's not live action, doesn't it? Yes, yes. Well, it's easier to draw people. Well, that, getting was, that was making me think destroyed. of another day, like um, like with my website, Vishalsviews.com. 
I'm gonna actually think of a website that will, uh, uh, sorry, an article of games that would be good animated series just to like push boundaries, just to like. So most of them. Yeah. Yeah, a Mario would actually be the perfect example of that. We'll get to Mario later today. We're gonna to talk about a lot, a lot about that one. And also, I watched a Digimon movie yesterday, and. Well, which one was it? Because there's a few of them. Uh, shit, I forgot the title of it. I'll look at it in a second. Okay. Um, so this one takes place where they're all at university age. And it just recently came out in twenty, late 2019 or early 2020. Um, so I think what's happening right now is Japan... Like, I haven't seen Digimon since, like, the early 2000s, late 90s. I was hooked on it. I thought it was a better show than Pokemon was. Digimon really actually had some ballsy moments. They, they do. They were dark, yeah. and they were actually, like, mature. There, there's there's legit death in that show. Like That's not, crazy. Not like... And like, like, you remember how they used to worry about Charmander's light getting extinguished in that early oh, part yeah. of Pokemon? Digimon yeah, no, would have just Digimon does it. that and actually follows through, and not just once. <laughs> Like Digimon had some really damn. There, there's, there's a few major characters, not the humans because they're children. That would be really, really bad. But there well, are some uh, Digimon. I mean, there are some Digimon that legit fucking kill get... the kids. Digimon, and let's like, do this. Ex- Push the there boundaries. Are cute Digimon too. It's not like they were like monster demon. Like they were cute. Yeah, there, there's, there's a couple that it's like hit. Like some are like okay, that makes sense. And then there's some that's like, why? <laughs> like there's this one character who was like the main villain for a few seasons, Myotismon. He was a vampire based. Fuck yeah, he was. Ironic how I mentioned Castlevania and a vampire-based villain. In it makes sense. Yeah, makes uh, sense. But Myotismon was fucking evil. Like, one of the most evil... All, all the villains, villains in Digimon are legit evil. Like, it's not just Jesse and James. It's No, it's like... No, they were legit. It's, it's straight like, up like... They were like trying to do a genocide. Yeah. Damn, I need to watch this. I totally and skipped they are, over they are coming out with a new series now, too. And uh, Digimon actually was well-written, well-voice-acted, well like animated too hmm. like they and they didn't just when they elv- evolved digivolved evolved they didn't just like stay that way like they went back like it was like well yeah because they want to keep the mascot yeah they keep the, uh, they keep yeah, the yeah. cute mascots yeah yeah so like the pikachu so this one was in particular like there's a lot of characters i forgot about like i remember but there was also what i think happened in japan they probably released regular digimon movies with backlog and backstory of like what happened before and what happened after because if you watch digimon the first season where they were all where ty was the main guy but then you watch the um the next season where it was i believe davis no it was no second season oh yeah second season was davis but they also kept um okay. tk and kari yeah tk and kari i so, actually remember the i'm surprised i actually remember all the original digidestin there's ty matt sora mimi joe izzy tk and kari okay so they're I'm actually damn. surprised okay, yeah, no, so what happened in the um the first season of digimon and when they go to the second season of digimon there's like a huge gap of like Oh yeah, but stuff that happened by the by the time that you get to the second season, like TK or not TK, um, Ty and all of his friends when they were in school, they're now all high school kids going to, getting ready for college. So, oh, like, so there's a big time gap. Yeah, there, yeah there's, so there's, there's like a good like five year gap. So there's a lot oh. of Digimon that I've noticed. It's a trend. They leave it unspoken of. Like it's like almost like it happened, but we're not going to explain what happened. So this is what hap- What I watched the Digimon movie. It was fucking dark. Like, it was, like, really dark. And a lot of this backstory, you were, like, confused as fuck about. And it probably because there were some movies and shows in Japan that happened that we never got in North America. So we never got an explanation about, like, what happened or what caused all of this. And that was one thing with Digimon that happened that, like, you never really got the full story. It's like... They tried to explain a little bit, but it was never, like, really fully explained properly. Hmm. It, while it was really cool, and it was, again, dark as fuck. Like, there was one character who was, like, an innocent, like, kind, loving character. And they turned her into the main villain. I'm just kind of scene. researching it. Was there a thing about a virus in the story of this movie? Very much so. so. This is Digimon the movie. So this is the original movie. No, 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 not that one. That no? was that came out in 2001. Okay, I so watched shit. that one. All right. 
Well, either way. Uh, just check out Digimon Movie 2020, and you'll probably find it. Oh, 2020, it. so that's probably like... A, it's br- that, it's that, fresh. That's, oh, it's like a new movie. That's, yeah. that's I thought pro- it was an old movie, and it was just the first the time you were seeing movie. it. Like, that one I watched. That one That one had story had two storylines, or two or three so, storylines. It, it just came out in Japan, this thing that I'm looking at. Um, other than that, you did you was it like an actual movie or was it like a short series? No, it was an actual movie. Like, okay, I actually had like a a full out story. Okay, was this thing in Japanese or English? It was in English. You know what? Let okay, me... so it isn't this one. So I'm, it's gonna be a little more trouble finding it. So whatever. You know but... what? I'm gonna find it right now. Literally right now. If you turn around, it will be. Uh, it's called Digimon Adventures: The Last Evolution. Oh, so they actually okay. So that's the one I was looking at. I just it didn't see seem like it was in English. So okay, no, yeah. it, uh, like it, we're talking English voice acting, not subtitles. It no, this was dubbed in English. Definitely okay, dubbed in that's English. surprising because that's you. They usually don't turn them around that fast. No, they usually no, take a while. No, but this one, I the, like I said, like Digimon was a hidden gem in the anime world that was not appreciated. It, everyone thought it was a rip off of Pokemon. Where actually Digimon came first. I mean, either way, though, it's just because, like, yeah. we're all kids at that time, so we're all just thinking Pokemon, right? So yeah, I was, just, I, I, that's the I was a lot is. older than I would like to admit. <laughs> well, but either way, right? Like, that's the most people. We were, like, 13 when Pokemon came out, I think. No, no, we were in our late teens, dude. Like, well, I remember. It came po- out in 96. I got Pokemon in grade 10. Yeah, I was so 16. Like, no, we're not 16 in grade 10. Are we? Anyway, we're yeah, moving we were. on. It's, we're yeah. like 30 minutes yeah, yeah. and we haven't gotten a me yet. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So this whole thing that we were discussing Ooh. before the show <laughs> about us keeping on, on time has not happened. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, look at that. Um, so I'll gloss over quickly Yakuza 5. I'm still playing that. Um, I'm now about three stories into like the five. You, are you a made man in the Yakuza yet? You have already been made man a long time ago. Oh. That's why it's Yakuza 5. Um, oh, so is it one guy going out through the entire series? For the most part, they just started adding in more characters as they go. I think four is the first but game you actually control new as guys. One guy mm-hmm. as throughout the main series through zero to three. Actually, technically not zero because zero they let you play somebody else. But I think one to three, it's just the main character, and then in four, they actually start letting you play as more. Five, it's now like five people. They're they're upgrading big. Um, I'm at the point now where I'm at the chapter where you're playing as the main character's adopted daughter who is now 16 and is trying to be a Japanese idol. So after two chapters of really intense shit, now it's time to be an idol for for a while. Like American Idol idol? Like no, like singing? Japanese idol, like dancing, dancing okay. and like singing on stage sort of deal. Yeah. And like cheesy Japanese stuff. Singing, singing so wrecking I, ball. I went from beating the shit out of people <laughs> and like tossing them face first into walls to doing rhythm music games. I mean, I feel like those are the same thing. That, I can't uh, even tell them apart. And that's why I love Yakuza. <laughs> that is it, so it goes from some random. deep, some deep like heavy shit to to Mina. <laughs> she like calls out to everybody. I have played Just Dance, and I sometimes want to throw. Yeah, I bas- I basically well. went from playing like Call of Duty single player to Dance Dance Revolution. <sighs> Dang, and I that's love amazing. it. But yeah, I, I'm still glossing over that. I'm about 30, 40 hours in, still loving that. I'm de- it's definitely oh, becoming man. solely one of my favorites. But the biggest thing, obviously... Uh, which one? Yakuza 5? Yes. Or is it one of your favorites of the series or one of your games in general? Out of all the remasters, it's easily my favorite so far. And then Zero so much. So, uh, of the, of the series, game. though? Or, or... No, not my favorite of the series. Or, like, of your favorite games you've played in general? Why would you said it... No, you said it is, it's becoming one of your favorites. Yes, so I'm wondering Yakuza. If it's, yeah. Oh, of the series itself. Yes. Okay. That part I didn't really understand, if you were saying. Vish has not listened twice now on the show already. <laughs> go. Whatever you're doing, go. You're, you're excused. Go. Get out. We're, me and Chris are going to talk about cool stuff. We're going to have our own podcast. Yeah. With Blackjack and Hookers. <laughs> Nova Shaw's Club. I like this I idea. This. <laughs> I like this idea. Uh, but most importantly, I have gone through the Final Fantasy VII demo. Yes. Which has been nothing short of, I can't believe how badly I want to play this game, and yet I, I am going to be able to control myself. I am going to be able to control myself enough that I'm not going to outright buy it at launch. Because again, as I said from the very beginning... If I had never played Final Fantasy VII before in my life, I could get away with playing this car- compartmentalized version of the game. Yeah. But because I have played everything, I would rather just wait for the whole thing. Because yeah. I'm going to want to go through the whole thing. That to be continued at the end is going to be tough. Yeah, that's why I don't It's going to be tough. Not to mention that if I wait long enough, they'll put it all out. It'll be a package. It'll be cheaper. Mm-hmm. And the PS4 version will probably be a... Like the first episode on PS5. Yeah, honestly, it'll be up for PS5 like PS5 by then. So I can yeah. wait even for the new console yeah. to do it too and get an even better fidelity. Because I got to assume. Because it already looks amazing yeah, as it is now. It can does. you imagine this on a PS5 with better 
I can only imagine that episode two or whatever the hell they're going to call it is going to be on PS. It would have to be on both, probably. Yeah, because depends you, on when it comes. You out, can't right? put it. You can't put one part out on one and then not have it on the other. Yeah, I think it depends on how long they take. If it, ta- it if they take, it take an, three a, years. Three years. I think that was their goal. Was okay, three then, years yeah, it could be on three both. years it for could. what? Sorry, the, the next part until episode two of Final Fantasy VII. Okay, we've had this conversation. It's not the whole game. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. I know, I know that, but they're actually going to release this part and then another yes. three, three years. They're going to release the other part. What? They're going to spend ten years making one game and not release it to people. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, it's going to be in three. Yeah. God, uh, fuck the fuck. <laughs> I love it. So, you, yeah, man. I think I will hold honestly, off on well. buying Final Fantasy Do not, Yeah, I would man. honestly say, unless if you're new to the series or you really have money to burn, wait. Yeah. Either wait for a good price and play it by, and play the first part, or wait for the whole damn thing. So, as an irrational person, um, if it comes to PC, <laughs> the day it launches, you're I will be buying it. I know you will. Well, uh, because I, I have... When, when, do you actually play Final Fantasy games? I, I mean, yes. He, he may. If you look he at my, may. If you look on my Steam... There's I mean, he just, right? there's he a, just there's talked about doing them. one. He yeah. just finished, I just one, finished right one right now. Again, for the second Did time. Did you guys see that video I sent the other day of like every Final Fantasy, fan, Final Fantasy character in one video? Probably like, not, because I, I don't remember, remember that. Oh, okay, because it was a really fucking cool video. Either way, um, now that you're back, because apparently you wanted me to wait, because he called <laughs> out from all the way across the room, and I'm like, we're doing a show, sir. Show <laughs> no, some professionalism. I, I wanted to know about, like, you had something about the demo that you kept secret from. Oh, I didn't keep anything secret from the demo. It's what I'm segueing to after. Yeah, uh, that's after. We're that. getting there. Yeah. But the demo itself is fucking phenomenal did you stream it did you stream yeah. playing it i no you're i didn't right? stream it i recorded it okay and it's up on youtube so, oh it is up on youtube yeah fuck i was waiting so in the i watched words, a little on twitch and then i felt like i was cheating on you friend. so i stopped <laughs> in the words of our good presidential friend it was totally it was phenomenal was it yes it was <laughs> so you played madden <laughs> yes i played stupid sexy cloud madden which by the episode way episode one by the way all i needed was the first five seconds of that game to be like Fan artists are gonna love so, Cloud so, in this game. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, people are oddly attractive in Final Fantasy games. All like, this, no, so, no, uh, no, no. Let's, let's be real. In the original, even in the movies, didn't care much for it. And 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 again, I, just because I wasn't by when the movie came out doesn't change anything. Even then, yeah. I'm like, doesn't look that big a deal. I look at him now. Oh, he's got pretty face. He's so, got a pretty face. Adam, what you're saying is you were playing Final Fantasy football. No, I'm fu- I'm playing Final, Final Fantasy. Fantasy. I want to fuck Cloud so hard. <laughs> when I look at the characters, the, the, way they the, look, the guy, not an actual Cloud. <laughs> mm, yeah, I've been there, like done cloud. that. Clouds don't really give back. The Cloud is shaped like. They cloud. won't keep you warm at night, but they will make you wet. No, they Hello. will. <laughs> they will. <laughs> yes, it's very dewy, even when it's not raining. Inside ah. A cloud. Uh, yeah. No. Like I look at how the characters. Uh, wow. All right, we're done with the puns. <laughs> I look at how everybody looks like what Cloud and everybody doing? when they were doing the bombing mission, like especially in the remake. And this is like, if this was me, I would look like shit the entire mission. There's okay, no uh, way I could pull off. It's like, all right, I'm going to go out and fight people. I need my mini skirt. I need this okay, unrealistic was, uh, corset. My hair is going to be in a sideways ponytail that never falls out. Like, that, what was the the, uh, that was a joke of all Final Fantasy of Spirits Within. When the main girl fell down and her hair just stayed in place. Yeah. The, every female I oh. know was like... That's yeah. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they were saying. Was like, and I, it makes sense. Like, no one's here falls down like that, yeah. and like sees like so perfect. Like, yeah. no. So, so tangents aside, I'm gonna actually talk about this demo here, and we're gonna yes. move on because uh, we're trying to get uh, by is stuff. Is it? Uh, well, I, wanna ask I literally am about to talk, and you get fucking gets ready to ask me a question. <laughs> is it Fox based six. on the bombing mission? The the demo is literally just the first like thirty minutes of the game. Yeah. So the bombing mission. The bombing mission. Yes. I mean, I wouldn't call it that anymore, but yes. Um, as it stands, the game looks absolutely incredible. It and is. the soundtrack from what we get so far is really good. Yeah, from is what it, I heard, uh, it was... similar to the original game? Like what, the music? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. just... It's, it's just, the original it's just songs remastered, re-recorded, yeah, there's orchestra. Just, there, so there's a lot more orchestrated stuff. Yeah. There's some new songs. Like the, the, the battle theme that you know, like the da 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 it doesn't sound... It's not electric guitar in this. It's straight up like orchestrated now, so it yeah. sounds like... Really intense. Does it though? have oh. the uh, da, 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 what? Like it, it has. Yeah, the... I'm assuming it does. It's just I don't pay attention because there's so much shit going on. Oh, Especially okay. in that demo, it gets chaotic with some of the with some of the stuff now because but, it's not turn based anymore. Yes. I mean, te- I you, you can do I, classic. I, mode, I thought right? you could do both. You yeah, can. It's on there. Honestly, I don't know why you would though. <laughs> yeah, you I want to try it. But um, the demo is, if this is what normal is. 
Normal is not going to be that easy. Normal is actually hard. genuinely hard. When I saw some clips, people were getting actually, sliced uh, and stuff, and their health was going down like seven when points. I was I'm like, playing, that, um, that's not when it. I was playing uh, last uh, Fallen Order. What did I say about tangents? Sorry. Uh, normal was actually really fucking hard. I had to switch like like ten percent into the game. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> More, normal is not that easy anymore. Normal supposed to be like decent. I think in it's this supposed one, though, to be normal. It's th- in the this name. is this is what I figure though. I think in the game, and I don't know how it will happen when the game's in full. If there's any grinding ability, because the way that the game tries to push you, it just tries to push you through like it's a linear map. Mm. I don't know if you can go back and refight shit. And I kind of hope you can, because if they're going to not let you go back and kind of grind a little bit more, yeah. some of these bosses are not going to be easy. And grinding is a staple of Final Fantasy. Yes. Like, come on. But, no, like, what, what playing, playing the are battles... Are playing, like, random battles? That pop there's no random part? battles. No, everything is... Everything is... Perce- like, you, you go to a certain people area, there will be something coming. Screen, yeah. mm, not known. In no? the game, no. Like, if you, you would get into cutscenes that would lead into battles, there'd be places where, like... Actually, no. I don't think anything is ever randomly generated. Nor like nor is it necessarily a cutscene. It's all fluent. Like mm-hmm. there's one point where you walk up to them, and they're cutting a fence to get past another area. And as you're about to go in with them, they stop and be like, "Oh, we got company," and they transition into a fight. Like there's, it's no black screen cutscene, black screen fight. It yeah. doesn't stop. Yeah. There's no point Shit. in the demo where it stops. Huh. So everything so is constantly constant, moving. Yeah. Wow. So how would going back and... F- oh, you don't know. because I don't know. I never there. tried. I Maybe you can. Just the game makes you feel like you just constantly keep going forward. Yeah, like a moving movie. Like, as it stands, like the right? battle system itself, I love it. Because it's Kingdom Hearts with a little more tactic to yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Kingdom Hearts. Because the way that it works, there's no ATB system. There is, but it's more like you have to do something to get it. It's not a time thing. It's you. You make a certain number of damage... You hit enough times, or you use, like, it's like a super effective thing with Pokemon. Like, if you cast Thunder on a robot, the AT bar goes up a little bit faster. And you have, at the demo, I don't know if it expands, but you get two bars. If you get one, you can do either a special attack or a spell. Items, I think you can use at any time. Uh, but, for example, Cloud, Cloud and Barret have two abilities. And if you get one bar, you can use it. One of them is really good for, there's three states for a monster. There's just normal state. There is uh, pressured, which okay. is... There's like, it's kind of halfway to okay. You're gonna immobilize them for a while. Yeah. So it's in the point. It's like, all right, now you need to really start hammering on these guys to get them staggered, which is the final form. Yeah. I was gonna say that's where your abilities load faster, damage is heightened. So it's like fucking kill him mode. Yeah. It's like uh, Final Fantasy 13 and. So there are some abilities that work for that. There are some abilities that get them in a stagger mode faster when he's pressured. Yeah. So stuff like that that you can use to your advantage. Okay. So three stages. That's cool. And the good thing too is if you need a second to stop and just get a sense of things you just hit the x button everything pauses like it's time based and you just keep an, you can decide okay i need to cast this ability or i need to cast cure on this guy or i need this item now is it uh like everything stops or is it like everything's like slow it's down very down. slow yeah. to the point that it is pretty much stopped but it's not yeah. quite yeah but it's can, so you can slow see the characters moving very very, very slowly okay, still there's, there's been figure. like uh, a few games that have been like there's like almost like a, a pause and like if you're going to the menu like still speed happening. speed wise, it's like point one percent. Like yeah. it's oh, okay. it's slow so enough it's that you have more than enough time to make a decision. Looks super cool. So battle wise, up until the boss, it's some of them are challenging, but it's like okay, like as long as you know what you're doing and you're switching between characters, because there's range guys that Barrett's good for. There's obviously people on the ground that Cloud's better for. Yeah. When you get to the boss, that scorpion robot, fuck me, that was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Huh. Because he has different forms, it's almost like Dark Souls, where you got to learn what he does and when, and prepare for it. Oh, so okay. for example, so... you know the tail laser. Yeah. So at one point he'll break it out, and things will fall. If you get hit by it, you're fucked. So you got to get behind cover. So there actually is strategy to boss battles. It isn't just wail on him. It's same deal. I think you probably saw in the, in the trailer dive, of the demo, there's dip, also a point where he puts up a shield, you need to hit this little spot on him. Yeah. So there's things like that that's actually, like, beyond just use this magic on him 7,000 so, times. To yeah, yeah. What you're saying, yeah. you gotta dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. No, fuck you. You just <laughs> wail on him anyway. Um, in easy mode, no, I, I went like, back and played I, it. I, for legit, though, like, there's also, like, defensive maneuvers as well as offensive maneuvers. Yeah, it's, more, it's more just learning what they do and when. Kind of like if you're playing an MMORPG. You gotta figure out what the phases of a boss are. Yeah, yeah. 
Like a raid boss kind of Yeah. Thing. This sounds like every boss is going to be a fucking raid boss. It may, it may not. It really depends on what it is. Mm. But um, I played it on normal. Yeah. And I had 20 potions and a couple Phoenix down. So I figured I'm fucking on easy street. I ended with, I think, six potions and one Phoenix down. Wow. I played on easy and I didn't use a single potion. So oh, easy okay. is definitely. What do the uh, Phoenix downs do? Bring your character, uh, back, character to back to life. Oh, okay. um, oh, Phoenix, right. On, on yeah. easy, it really is. Easy. If you're there for the story, you'll have an easy time. Like oh, going through going so through the, the demo again, again, you almost one shot the the small stuff. Okay, okay. So it's a tough call. If there's the ability to grind, I'll stick with normal. But if there isn't, and it's just straight through, I might even play it on easy just yeah. to go through it because it's a long game to be frustrated yeah. with. For me, it would depend on if you're allowed to grind. To I didn't like, try the yeah. class mode because I don't get I don't get the sense of it personally. Because if I wanted to play a time based Final Fantasy VII, I would just go back and play the original or play Dragon Quest. So I want XI. I wanted to play the new and improved version. And if this is what the entire game is, it's going to be fucking great. I may actually like Seven a lot more than I ever have because yeah. of this game. Yeah. Did you, were you a fan of 7 when it first came out? I mean, I like all Final Fantasy games, but Seven's nowhere near the top of my list. Yeah, I think Seven's well, I know overhyped. Like, like Seven's not even in my top five. Yeah, you're, you're the one with Kefka was like your top. Well, no, I mean, like game-wise, like Seven's not even close. Like, I don't hate any of them, except for 13. But, um... What about that, 8? Oh, I'll get... No, no it's fine. I like 8. Eight has, 8 has a shitty gimmick, but it's still a good game. Yeah, it's the drawing magic that sucks, but yeah. the actual story, when I went back and played it... But, like, if this is what 7 is no. all the way through, fuck that. It has top 5 potential for me, because it's it's not even the story that's important, it's the open world now. It's being able to walk around all these mm-hmm. places and get more things more fleshed out. Like, Biggs, Jesse, and Wedge are really... Fl- and even in that demo, I'm like, holy shit, I think I actually know these guys more in that demo than I did the entire yeah. time playing the original game. Yeah, you knew nothing about them in the original game. So, Which ones are these ones? They're like the three lackeys with Barrett at the beginning of the, yeah. of the game. Okay, because yeah. uh, again, for me, I never finished Final Fantasy VII, and I played it so... I pl- the last time I played it was 2005. Well, you're also I, not a big JRPG guy, yeah, so you've no. kind of no, forgotten I, most of I stuff. wanted to play it. I was enjoying it. It's just I got my PS2 when I you could have still played it on that oh yeah backwards compatible that one wasn't yes it the is PS2 that one wasn't mine wasn't I thought all PS2 I thought they all the were the OG yeah. PS2's were but like the this PS2 Slim oh okay oh, right not. I forgot about that yeah that makes sense well, that'll be a good segue for later well speaking of segues other than that like the demo's just fucking really good yeah I definitely want to buy that game or so, just watch my video I'm going to watch your video, and then I'm just going to want to buy the See, game on PC. Is, Square, if you're listening, I, put it on okay, PC It's soon. not that I would never watch your video, because I would watch your video. It, when I watch people playing video games, I would rather play the game. I know, but he, 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 I he love... he's my target market. Yeah, not, I was on you're, Twitch You're not, you're not my night. demographic. I was in bed on Twitch For the record, on my phone friends, until like who don't know, I'm Indian, so... So, <laughs> so here's my segue. Yeah, here we go. So segue. NHK, which is basically like the, um, the PBS of Japan, okay. they did a big survey. With the Japanese fan base of yes. Final Fantasy. Oh, I heard about this. So, here are some top lists about Final Fantasy. So, there are four lists. I'll do the games last because that's the really fun one. This was all done in Japan, right? Yes. That's what makes so these so So, these good. are the top ten bosses and summons in Final Fantasy, according to Japan. Remember, this yes. is Japan. That's why it's going to be so good. Number ten is Safer Sephiroth from seven. Okay. Nine is Sildra from five. Oh, yeah. Eight is Bahamut Zero from eight. Okay. Seven is Braska's final Aeon, aka Ject. I'm not. That's not a spoiler. The game is fucking 15 years old. Actually, yeah. almost 20 years old. Uh, yeah. Number six is Valifor from eight, which was oh, so, an interesting. Uh, like, sorry. So number the first five. Song. Oh yeah, yeah. Number yeah. five was that like a companion who turned out to be a villain? I don't remember Sildra from five. Sildra was um, a big monster that was. Was under it a your, dragon? It was a dragon under like a water creature that was yeah. under your pirate ship. There was no wind left because the wind crystal broke. So, so the after ship that, moved around. Omega from five monster. is also number five, ironically enough. Omega? Mm-hmm. Oh, Omega was a pain. Anima in Anima from X, ass. that bonus summon you can get. Yeah. That's number four. Hades I, from fourteen, which I've never played, is number three. I, I literally know. Oh yeah, that about was these a good guys. One. Besides Sephiroth. So then shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> just just pointing it out. There. Number two is is Kefka Final Battle. Yeah, that's. And yeah. number one is Knights of the Round from seven. Knights of the Round is a favorite boss. Yes. Bosses and summons. Oh, and summons. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, characters, top 10. Uh, number 10 is Zack, specifically from Crisis Core, oh, which yeah. is a 7 spinoff. Yeah. Tifa from 7 is number 9. What? How Light- is she not high? Lightning up? is number 8, which I'm actually surprised is not Everybody higher. Everybody in Japan, Japan fucking really loves, loves Lightning, lightning. So I'm surprised is only 8. Yeah. 
but this is the, I don't know how big the um the sample size was, so True. it could just be that. Three people. Titus. I don't care if it's Titus. I still call him Titus. Yeah. Is number seven. Tit us. Emmett, Emmett Select from 14 is number six. Okay. Zidane I would from like to select Tit us from seven. Zidane is number, is number five from Final Fantasy IX. Zidane? Vivi Higher is up than I was expecting. Four. See, Vivi I'd get because he's cute and it's Japan. Yeah. But Zidane? Eris is number three. <laughs> Poor bastards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number two is Yuna. Okay, I'd believe that. And Which number one? one is Cloud, unsurprisingly. Yeah. Which one is, where is Yuna from? Yuna ten. is ten. The oh. main girl. Uh, music is number 10 is those who fight further from seven yep vish is not gonna remember any of these titles i think one of the battle know. names uh, there's uh, maybe one or two of my well remember. by name i don't think you'll know what they are oh. uh the original theme from the original final fantasy is number nine yep. melodies of life from nine is number eight. Oh, that's a nice one eris's theme is seven yep one wing angel is six i'm surprised it's that low yeah that one i've that, i'm actually number pretty, two really number positive. two will shock you okay i'm i was surprised by this one too. that should be the um clickbait that you put on the <laughs> number name of this. two will shock you oh <laughs> my <laughs> god that's so true uh blinded by light from 13 is five okay i can say i can see that because 13 and 13 do have some beautiful music yeah the music in 13 like the whole trilogy yeah. i'm assuming is actually the best part uh, of the searching for friends from six. Oh yeah 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 as uh, four eyes on me from eight is number three that very romantic. which is beautiful here's very the surprising romantic. one at number two okay clash on the big bridge from five. Oh, i love that song it's just surprising it's gilgamesh's song, song. Five, though, yeah considering yeah. how much music's out there yeah. a final fantasy was five, five track. on the snes yeah. yes yeah and it and never if, released if you thought in final fantasy US. music from the snes getting getting high praise you figured it'd be four and six yeah because those have some really Because 5 tracks. was actually skipped in the U.S. originally. Yeah, I think that's it probably why Japan likes it more, too, because 5 was readily available early on. So there yeah. is some more nostalgia with 5 than there would be with us. Yeah. We didn't get it till PS1. And then number one for music was Xanarkin from 10. Xanarkin which is, is, the, which is such a beautiful song. piano theme. Yeah. So the only ones that like I would recognize is the Bombing Mission from Final Fantasy VII. And One Wing Angel. No, uh, believe it or not, no. That's uh, impossible. The other one would be... Not a Final the... Fantasy fan. I'm not. Dismissed. <laughs> And the uh, the battle theme, like dun, 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 yeah. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, dun. So the Is first it... three minutes of Final Fantasy. VII. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So here's the fun one. There are thirty listed. So from 30 to 1, this is what Japan thinks are the best Final Fantasy games. And get ready to get mad because there are a couple there's of suspect 30? ones. There's spin-offs. Yeah, there's and, a lot yeah. of stuff. Oh, okay. so, Final Fantasy 13 1. Two, this is three. why I couldn't get into Final Fantasy. There's 20. Well, a lot of these games. are mobile too. Just go on my Steam account. You'll be fine. So number 30 is the mobile record Steam keeper. Again. Okay. Oh, I, started it. I did play All the Bravest is not on the list, thank fucking God. <laughs> yes. Uh Crystal Chronicles Echoes of Time. Never got into I never got to play those. Never had a Unfortunately yeah. 13 2 is all the way at 28. What? They put Lightning Returns above it, so that should tell that that's a, not a good sign. Well, that makes me have to play Lightning Returns <laughs> now. By Fun. live. Even worse, you know what they put above 13 2? What? Mystic Quest. I okay, which isn't fuck even that. technically no, a Final Fantasy. I fucking game. love Mystic Quest. I do too. Mystic but Quest. But let's be honest, it's not a Final Fantasy. In this Japan, it is a call it it Final is, Fantasy okay. USA. It is a baby uh, Final Fantasy. Was game. it a uh, Final Fantasy game that was released only in, the, in North America? No, but it was made by Square's U.S. team, like American. You know what's a crazy it. story oh. too? So it's a lot easier. <laughs> you know what's crazy about that game? What? It's like the easiest Final Fantasy ever. That's the first Final Fantasy Europe ever got. Is it that really? was their what? first Final Fantasy. What? So for Europe, that is Final Fantasy. So well, it was for the you, first one, yeah. that was the first one they got, which is the easiest and most simple one. Oh, it's not even geez. really an RPG. Yeah, no, it's so easy. It's Tetris. It's the first one. It's I ever almost played. that easy. It's the first one I ever played well, when I was like eleven. Tetris gets really fucking. Oh no, like seven. Tetris in the first few rounds. That's what Mystic Quest is. I want Mystic Quest to come to fucking Steam. I would love that. How many hours is that game? Oh, uh, like four. <laughs> number number 26 Dissidia yeah. 012 which is the yep. newer one yeah those are cool uh, 25 Crystal Chronicles Ring of Fates okay 24 the original Final Fantasy oh wow because it, it, it hasn't aged well no <laughs> uh, 23 the original Dissidia oh yeah 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 22 Final Fantasy Tactics Advance oh, okay. which I actually which okay. I have a soft spot yeah, for those are good 21 is Lightning Returns so okay okay still gotta try it 20 is Mobius Final Fantasy, also a mobile game. Oh, right, yeah. 19 is 10 2. The Charlie's Angels of Final Fantasy. I can understand because a lot of people don't like it that much. I love it. I like it, it is because different. I know, I know yeah. it's, it's, it was designed for women because they didn't realize how much of a female audience they actually had. Oh, yeah. So yeah. they designed, That's a, the girls they designed Final one Fantasy, that was meant for But, like, I mean, I love it. 18 is Final Fantasy 2, okay. as in there too. Yeah. Crystal Chronicles, the original, is 17. Yep. Surprisingly, Type 0 is 16 to Japan, which I hate. I, I never played zero. that one. It's on Steam. It's the only one I haven't bought. Uh, 12 is 15. Okay. 
14. Uh, I, uh, wait, hang on. Number 15 is 12. I should oh. really be very careful about how I do this because <laughs> of the numbers. Yes. Number 14 <laughs> is 13. Wait, they like 13 better than 12? Yeah. What the fuck, Japan? Check your shit and then make your list again. Number 13 is Crisis Core. Okay, I've never played it, but I hear it's good. Number 12 is Final Fantasy 3. I do like 3. I, I like need the music. To, I wish I had the DS version because apparently that one's really you good. You do on Wait, my uh, Steam account. They just the, updated uh, it last true. week. So, three, that was it. one on... Was that the first one that was on the Super Nintendo? No, no that was the last no, no. one on the original The original Nintendo. 2 and 3 we never got. Yeah. We got 1, 4, 6. Technically, we got 1, one 4, two, three, 6. Eight. Okay, this is a part of Final Fantasy that I just could not get... Uh, so. Remember, like, Lost Level Super Mario? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what they that's did actually to Super three Mario Final too. Fantasy okay, games. Okay, here's the thing. Like, Lost Levels with Super Mario is one title. Lost Levels with fucking Final Fantasy is, like, 17 titles. There's three titles no, that didn't come. Yeah, yeah no. It legit, legit. It's yeah. that. Uh, 11 is Tactics. Oh, I love Tactics. The game's so fucking good. 10 is 15. Yep. Number 9 is 11, which... Oh, okay, yeah. I'm surprised yeah. that it's that high because it was pretty rough, but then again, Japan... Yeah. I gotta remember. I mean, that. it's still going on PC. You can still yeah. play it, and it's like 15 years old. Number eight is four. Okay, I number love four. Number seven love is four. eight. Okay, four is actually my favorite. Number Eight's... six is five. Yeah, five's good. Number five is 14. Okay, <laughs> number, amazing MMO. Number four is nine, which makes me really happy because yes. here in the West, we don't give any credit yeah, to which, nine. Which is crazy. It's in my okay. top three. So I can that... tell you exactly why that is. Because there's a monkey? No. That'd be racist. That's not what I meant. I mean, he, he does have a tick. <laughs> um, like a monkey. We, apparently here in the West, really like our dark broody shit. Yeah. Nine is happy as fuck. Yeah, it's a happy it fucking game. It gets dark later, it's a, yeah. but it's very happy yeah. to start off. Like I love that. Uh, and it was medieval. It was like a fantasy It doesn't world. spend the first bit of the game being like, everything's dying. Yeah. As soon as the main character goes, whatever. I'm like, oh, for fuck's yeah. sakes. Let's just get to the part where you open up to your fucking comrades. Let's do this. Uh, number three is six. Yep. Fantastic. Number two. So you got only two games left. Is seven and eight. Or it's not seven and eight. Uh, seven and ten. Which do you think finished? Seven is two, two. Ten is one. You are correct. Yeah. yeah. One. I know like. Ten is fantastic. You, you in particular love ten. Ten and is my personal favorite, but I don't even think it's the best one. I ten think is my. Six is the best one they made. Ten well, is my was, fourth it, favorite. Do you think six is the best because of Kefka? No, or, because literally everything is done right yeah, in that the game. Story, the story is amazing. The, the story music, is amazing. The There's gameplay. so many characters. Yeah, the it's it's a timeless looking game. You don't ever need to remaster it because it looks great. Yeah, it still well, looks that's good. That's the thing about Super Nintendo. Pixel art games works. Are... The bosses. There's so many interesting things about that game. Yeah, ten. I just like on a personal note because it's like my personal nostalgia. Ten. I remember playing for the first time and I saw water. Like there was like Besaid Island like, and shit. And I was like, really holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's also when the first it's also PS2 when those cutscenes got real good. Yeah, that was when like cutscene animation was gameplay animation like in for example in resident evil 3 on the ps on the ps playstation the cutscenes were great for the time but then when ps2 came out the cutscene quality was gameplay quality yeah, yeah. all right so, so it's different. we got a couple of cool things to do at the end so i'm going to quickly run through a couple of tiny stories okay. so as you said earlier uh, horizon is finally coming to pc in mm-hmm. the summer so so Chris is finally going to get to play it. He doesn't, yep. have to, he doesn't have to hear Vishal tell him, I, I will lend you my console It's the first anymore. PlayStation exclusive it's... coming to PC. I can play Halo. I can play PlayStation games. I, would, I can I do would, whatever I, I want. Hey, hey lent... Nintendo, you hear that? Yeah. I yeah. would have lent yeah, Chris my, P- my PlayStation, but I have too many games to play on my PlayStation right yeah, now. Yeah, I have too many games to play everywhere. He's become Chris and having too much of a backlog. Yeah. yeah. No, uh-huh. like, my backlog isn't that many games. It's, just they're it's long not 300. Yeah, but you also take forever to do to play a lot of games because you, you get sidetracked. I have a much. list of how many games I've beaten in a month. I'm so, on track to beat 48 this year. I, I appreciate oh, that Sony is. I appreciate that Sony is also being smart and not just saying, "Okay, we're going to push everything over." Yeah, no. They no. said, "Look, this isn't going to be a very common thing. Like, this is going to be reserved for the ones we think work." Yeah. For PC, Horizon, would and be even better. then, like, if there's a game, like, let's say Last of Us comes out and it works really good for on PC, if it could, they're not going to do that for two, three years. No. Like they'll no. they'll let it be a thing where PlayStation owners get that they, they may, get their money off uh, of that. And it then the, yeah, it'll be two or three years. I think all of them it'll be two or three years I think later. They would probably do it for the tenth year anniversary. They might put yeah, the they might port older games like. Almost like that. Oh, yeah. But in terms of like Last of Us 2, when it comes out, it will be two, three years yeah, before no, it finally be comes two, out to PC. I, the one I'm hoping for after Horizon would be, and this is just me hoping, is the Spider Man one. 
And two, three years, obviously, yeah. waiting. That, if okay. that came to PC, that, I would love that. You know what it is? If I fin- I'll probably finish God of War by the end of the month. You're not lending him your console. Yeah, I don't. So I'm not taking God it. Of War, for, I will, for Spider-Man, trust me, it's worth it. I know it's worth it, but I have 395 other Spider-Man. games that are already in line. Now that you can stream PS Plus on PC, he has Yeah, I also can just pay $14 and play through it. Well, he says, then fucking play Spider-Man. Trust me, well, it yeah, is amazing. You know his backlog. My backlog is too way. big. It's too big. Chris, so, play Spider-Man. All right, all right. We're moving on because we got to go through some shit real quick because we still got some fun stuff. Uh, just to quickly gloss over because Adam Trump isn't here, uh, 2K is going to start getting into the NFL business. Yep. And most people just kind of rolled their eyes and said, it's not going to be any different. It's just going to be a different it's Madden. Really not. It's going to be unless they, unless they bring it back to NFL. Well, here's the thing. Or like make a well, game. Well, like that's N- not what it's going to be. No, no, if they make a game like NBA Playgrounds with NFL. They're not going to do that. Yeah, yeah but I'm whatever. saying, go ahead. Well, they're not going to do it. So it's a moot point. Yeah. They're going to do what they're Madden is. It's just going to be a different kind of like shit. modes that you spend a shit ton of money on. <laughs> yeah. Um, a different type of simulator. Also, really this is 2K now. If this was 2K five or five or so years ago in the heyday of NBA 2K, you yeah. maybe trust them. You can't now. Yeah, you can't anymore. Uh, other thing, this is a crazy story. So for 15 years, a group of people have been working on a full HD remake of the original Half Life, and it's finally coming. Oh yeah, coming Black out. Mesa. 15 years yeah. this thing it looks amazing on. and it looks incredible I would buy so, it if I it, haven't locked myself is it down it's the same game but they it's the like, original game they remade everything. by hand yeah and it's fan wow. made wow remade fan-made. by hand so you know how they Nint- didn't just put a fucking texture yeah. pack on it it's remade from yeah. scratch you know how Nintendo some uh, like somebody will take the original Metroid or something and they'll remake it or they'll remake oh, they'll Ocarina of the, Time uh, and the uh, Unreal Unreal Engine yeah. yeah and then Nintendo comes in and goes shut that down yeah no this was 15 years of them doing that yeah. and not getting shut down it was a fan a uh, bunch of fans that were making it and then Valve who makes Half-Life and Steam went over to them and they were like we approve what you're doing yeah they actually went it. it's amazing that's cool yeah I think they even helped fund them a little bit also and Valve, like, Valve was like we have Steam we don't really need to yeah, make another yeah. game we're gonna you, get 30, you guys do the work yeah. for us we're gonna get 30% of we'll all your it, sales we'll anyways because you're gonna launch it on Steam <laughs> but yeah Valve's good like that like if you yeah. wanna do a fan game they'll be like yeah do it we'll we'll support you put it on Steam well, that's, that's... I mean given what they used to put up with Greenlight I think they have to kind of yeah. allow it this is true see I, I uh, bought an Xbox second hand from somebody back in the day I still I had it and Half Life Two was one. Of two. The yeah, games you probably I had the orange box. Yeah, the orange box with Portal, Half Life Two, and uh, well, no, Team no, Fortress. No, no, no. Like I have Half Life Two as like a single disc. Oh, oh wow! Most people don't even know what that is because they yeah. just all remember getting in the orange box. Yeah, the orange box. No, yeah. no, I have it. Um, because that was Portal, Team Fortress, oh, sorry, and uh, Half Life Two. And I think one, the two and the two episodes, stories. one and two. Yeah. I'll show you guys one day, but yeah. it's um. No, you won't. But I remember like playing Half Life Two. I was like, hey, this game's actually pretty good. I yeah. never finished it. But I was like. It was actually a really good yeah. shooter. It was a revolutionary game. It at was, that time. yeah. Uh, and then, last but not least, there were a couple other small ones. They, they're not nearly as important. Here's a weird one that I don't think people. It's kind of kind of gone under the radar. Uh, GameStop has appointed a couple of new board of directors. Oh, yes, yeah. I remember. Uh, including oh, yeah. including yeah. Uh, the former CEO of Walmart and uh, the current president of PetSmart and CEO. Yeah. But I they also know. got Reggie from yeah, Nintendo. They got the Reginator. What the so, fuck? So here's the thing. I like this because at least it shows that GameStop is not going to go down yeah. without a fight. Yeah. Because they will eventually go down because I don't think this business model is going to work no. for that much longer. <sighs> not at all. But goddamn, they're not they're not going to go down without without a real fight. They're yeah. going to kick and scream their way into bankruptcy. If they could figure out how to do better pricing for their used games, like better payout and well, stuff the, like that. I, but... I showed you guys the one story too about them trying some interesting experiments down in the states. Like they have like an esports thing they're yeah. trying to pull in. Or being able to like rent rent a space out and you can play games there with your friends and do tournaments and stuff. Yeah, there's all cool ideas. Like they even have like retro stores. They want to go and go back and bring retro stuff, kind of like what like a micro play is for us. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. But it's all it's all it's cool ideas. Play. It's yeah. all very cool ideas, and I like the fact that they're at least trying. Well, they're, yeah, they're trying really. making it five to ten a... years too late. Yeah. But they're trying. Yeah. They're making it. They're trying to make it into a lounge almost. Yeah. And I mean, like I said, I think it's too late that it's not really going to do much, but fuck, at least they're putting in the effort now. I still try and go into GameStop if I'm buying like a case for my Switch or something, because on Amazon it's $17 and at EB it's 19 so it's like, I'd rather just go in and grab it myself now. Yeah. And I still love going in there, but it's just... Uh, honestly, it's I, I can walk in to... and look, yeah. but that's about as far as it goes. I, I've, had, I've, had to, I've had too many negative experiences with 
with EB Games and GameStop too. I've had the fortune that I've always had a store that I know people that work there, so yeah. I can always go there and get and get a get a nice yeah. bit of. I've always had pretty good experiences. I don't think I ever had any negative one. The only negatives I have are with customers that I watch doing stupid shit while they're in there. Oh yeah, like there's dumb. Oh, that's gonna yeah. happen yeah. anyways. But... I, I still remember like one time a girl coming or a woman coming out, like a mom coming and screaming, being like returning a copy of sims on the wii being like this has sex in it and i'm like oh that's what you think that is is? bumps on a bed sheet yeah aren't you going out this has sex and and the and the and the gamestop employee was clearly being like well if you look on the back here it says she's like i don't care i'm like okay so you're one of those bitches that doesn't pay attention to shit all right and you can't return it it's been over and then not to mention you just get all the creepy guys that don't shower which is a normal thing well, I had one yes. of the employees telling me... Speaking of showering, uh, coronavirus, guys, fucking wash your goddamn hands and shower, you fucking lazy bitches. Yeah. So, speaking of showering, I, uh, when I, the last time I was at EB Games... Uh, you took Games, a shower? Yes. Uh, I do do it regularly. They do least. golden showers at EB Games. There you go. You heard it here first, <laughs> folks. I do not do golden showers. I shower at least twice a day. Uh, but this With gold? One, the one employee who was working there was telling me about an abortion he had. What does uh, that have to do with showers? You d- uh, I don't know. It was just fucking weird. And I was like, why? Oddly why, enough, why are you you've told this story on yeah. the podcast before somehow. Have I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It was just, it was just like, oh, why are you telling me this? I'm stopping that. I'm stopping that one, Dad. That's a terrible segue. Yes. So into one terrible segue to another. <laughs> <laughs> We got two last things here in our last little bit here on the show. So two big milestones have come up. Although I guess, well, technically one milestone and then just a happy to be Mario day, everybody. It is the 10th of March as we are recording this. It will not be by the time this, this uh, podcast goes up, but it is the 10th of March, AKA Mario day. Uh, so we figured Mar- we go around the one room. zero, which technically, I think they Mario. know what this is. If they're listening to the show, they yeah. probably know what we're talking about. I yes. just want to make sure. Yeah. Everyone March 10th, knows. Mario day. Yes. Uh, so I figured we go around and we just talk about our favorite Mario game. And quickly, because we only have about 15 minutes before we All right, shut this And I'm going to go with just my favorite one, which neither of you are probably going to have, because it's Super Mario fucking RPG on Super Nintendo. No, that was my what? answer. God damn it! I mean, no, wait, I said it first. I win, yes! Really? <laughs> yes, that is the Mario best RPG Mario fucking It's just, such I a good fucking game. I was expecting Mario 64 for you. Mario 64 is definitely up there for me. I would say it's in the top... I mean, it's kind of hard, because it's like Super Mario World. I mean, I already know Mario his 3. answer, too. I yeah. figured you were going to say that. Yeah. I know what he's going to do because yeah. he, he hasn't said it's his favorite game of all time yeah, several so times, times on the yeah. show. Yep. Yeah. But I I'll give you the chance to, to do the honors. Okay. But no, uh, go ahead. I was just going to say there's so many, like, to pick between Super Mario World and Super Mario 64. There's not a bad that. choice. Yeah, they're there's, there's so good. There's I mean, there your... is a bad choice. It's called Sunshine. But all the other so, ones. <laughs> I will still defend it's... Sunshine to death. I've actually never even played it. I've just watched it and I'm like, I don't that's, want it. That's not that great. No. But either way, Mario RPG, it's just they took Mario and they actually gave it like a world to explore and I fucking loved it. And the music, and it was mixed with Square, so obviously it's got that Final Fantasy feel. I don't know. It's just such a good game. All right. Thank you, Mario. Give us the shocking revelation there, Vish. Adam. You're, I'm your favorite Mario game? No, you were definitely... Okay, you know what? Retract it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's official. My favorite game of Mario, and also my favorite game of all time, Super Mario... Sunshine. I told you to say it. So, this will be my last episode of the uh, <laughs> I did it! Yeah! <laughs> For the night. It's yeah. Super Mario 3. <laughs> yeah, it's Super, Super Mario, Mario 3. Uh, as a child of the 80s, I uh, also put up an article today on my website, vishalsuz.com, of the my favorite Mario game per console. And this was... Mario 3 has always been, like, the top of the pinnacle of Mario games, I felt like it really changed the scope of gaming. The sc- they, it really pushed the, the Nintendo to the limits of yeah. graphics. And frankly, the game is still playable now. Yeah. Like, you can play it, still enjoy it, and still appreciate it like you could back then in fucking 1989, I believe it came out, Adam? 90, I think, in the it States. It is... No, I think it actually came out in the late 80s. I think it was 89 this in does, Japan. This doesn't help because Google kind of stopped. I think it was list. like January 1990 or something. <laughs> 1988 in Japan, 1990 in North America. Okay, so. Oh, it was. Even Wait, 30... 88 in Japan and yes. 90? Yes. Like they skipped an entire year? Yes. Pretty much. Uh, so, Duff. honestly, I, you can still play that game. Oh, it's phenomenal. Still enjoy it 30 years later. It's 
timeless. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely in my top three. It's just between that and Super Mario World that they battle for for part two. Super so Mario two. World, I would probably say is my number two. Yeah, it's they've they've battled between me because it's like Mario World is just to me but, an and, upgraded and frankly, version of Mario Brothers. Super 3. Mario Brothers, the OG game, saved video games. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. What about you, Adam? What's your number one? You know what my favorite is? Yeah. Next time on the podcast, I'm fucking unplugging that Google. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Um, it's tough because we've already mentioned like probably the two better ones. Yeah. So I'm gonna go out there and do a bit of a hidden gem that doesn't get talked about nearly as much. Okay. Yoshi's Island. No, actually. Super Mario Dating Simulator. I was gonna talk about Super Mario Two. Oh yeah. It honestly the is one a that good we got game. Too? Yeah, the yeah. one that's actually like not actually Super Mario Two. Yeah, it's actually it's a good game. Originally yeah. called Doki Doki Panic in Japan. Yeah, um, that is a game that like has probably my favorite like th- music like like single theme. I love the yeah. that is one of the best Mario themes. Yeah, that isn't sure. a Mario theme. Yeah, which it's, is that's so not weird. a Mario theme, right? Yeah. I mean, there's so many other is good games not, out there. Is it? A, a not an official Mario no it is not an official game like it technically it is now because it was released like that here yeah but technically when it came out it was not a, ever a Mario game it was never intended to yeah. what happened is that Mario the Lost Levels is actually number two yeah but what happened is the Japanese think we're fucking stupid back then yeah so they gave us a reskin of this game called Doki Doki Panic and and that's what became Mario it, it is technically canon now because if it wasn't Birdo, Shy Guys, and all these things would not even be part of Super Mario. Yeah, ever. no, they wouldn't. Because that all debuted yeah. in that game. Yeah. That all comes from there. And actually, Mario 2, for its time, had a good story to it. Yeah, because well, yeah, yes. it was the Doki Doki panic. I like to grab vegetables and throw it at people. Yeah. That was a great no, story. No, but if you like actually look at the story... Like you, you're, you're, ask, you're asking me to remember a story of a game that I didn't really pay attention the to. The dad from kid. Doki Doki, whatever, no, 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 was but, sleeping. Like, if you look at the story behind Mario 2 with Ward and everything, like it actually is a interesting yeah. story behind it. Yeah. yeah, but no one's going to remember that shit. <laughs> and Ward appeared in Link's Awakening. That was fun. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, I mean, there's yeah. there's so many other good games just to go through. Like, obviously, all the Mario Karts. So there's a Nintendo cinematic universe. It I hold. Up, yeah. I hold a real soft spot for Mario Golf on the N64. I fucking loved Mario uh, Golf. Uh, was specifically like, playing mini golf. It on was it? like Hot Shots Golf on the PlayStation, but yep. Mario skinned. I would fucking love if they made okay, it. Okay, so of those. I would. Nintendo, Mario, are you probably Mario listening to this? would make me rage and news really badly because Hot Shots Golf is a rage and news. Yeah, but it's such a good game. That's just because you it suck at it. Yeah, get good. No, no, I, I, no, 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 get good. No, yeah. seriously, get good. Oh, suck it. Get yeah, good. I was doing really good. Nintendo, we I know suck. you're listening to this because it's a very prestigious podcast. If you could oh, just yeah. release a new Mario Golf on Switch, I'd be willing to I give mean, you... I mean, technically, the last one we got would have been uh, Island Tour on the DS, you... I think, wasn't it? Yes. Didn't you play Mario Tennis on the Switch at all? Not Mario Tennis. I never got into the Mario That's also games. not even really a tennis game now. Yeah. Like, it's not the traditional I tennis game I want the golf It's much more of a fighting press game, Press the button three times. Well, I, to be entirely honest, I prefer that than most sports games. Well, yeah, but we've had this conversation a thousand times. Most sports games are too real now. Yeah. Yes. But anyways, uh, the other thing, obviously, is that recently as well, uh, Sony had their 20th anniversary of the PlayStation 2. Yeah, which is crazy. Which is, I know that's a big thing for you because I was like your game. That is, that is my favorite console of all time just because that's right around yeah. the time that I really got into gaming. Because really, Super Nintendo was timeless, but PS2 is right around the age that I became a gamer. Yeah. So there's yep. a lot more fondness to that. And the amount of games, like I look back at the PS3 and I can think of like, I don't know, maybe 10 games where I was like, wow, that's crazy. We could be like here all that. day naming PS2 But PS2, games. like I look back and like even when I was, you know, on trying to find emulators and stuff like that. That was the one that just took up so much like, of my hard drive. Just even to prove the point, yeah. All the other consoles that I own over the over the course of time, I have maybe half a shelf of games total. Yeah, and some of them are games that I just I can't sell off because they're not going to. Yeah. Excuse me, they're not going to get you anything. Yeah. My entire shelf for the PS2 games is still not a full shelf, but not a single game is one I'd ever part with. There are yeah. games from Xbox 360, from Wii, from Wii U, and PS4 that I could get rid of at some point. That thing is like a good 20 games that I'm like, these are like games that you will have to fucking pry from my cold dead hands. <laughs> and so because of the 20th anniversary, we're going to do our top three, and we are running a little bit later than we thought on the show, so we're not going to do um, long form. So we're just going to give our top three quick bit if you want to, but we're not going to turn this into story time. 
so we'll I'll, start I'll, I'll, I'll start off yeah, yeah, we'll since we knew in the opposite direction yeah we'll no, go the opposite. number three very easy kingdom hearts 2 yeah pretty oh, straightforward I thought number one would be no the original is is a good starting point but two just puts everything together and it's much more streamlined also two has a battle where you face hundreds and hundreds of heartless and at that point same way with you how you talk about mario 3 pushing graphics playing kingdom hearts 2 and seeing that much going on on a ps2 game was shocking to me because oh, i didn't wow. think that was possible without it lagging like a son of a bitch and it came out i think the same year as the movie 300 and it felt super inspired by it because it was exactly <laughs> that actually there's one one of the games i'll talk about on my list that had a thing like that as well yeah uh number two this was so tough i mean i, re- I obviously final fantasy is my number one but man, Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4 is so oh, fucking yeah. good. Yeah. Which one? Persona 4. It's Persona 4. Oh. Uh. That game does everything right. And not only does it do everything right, but it also tells a story that takes serious issues that we deal with, whether it's suicide, transgender, gay, like LGBT, like if you ever want, like oh. the people who complain that there's no LGBT representation in video games, go and play Persona 4 and tell me that they weren't doing this before it was even the PS3. Yeah. Play some, play any game from Japan, honestly. No, but legit, <laughs> they don't joke with it. Yeah, no, they definitely do. Because there's a lot of games that do, because Japan also thinks everything's fair game for comedy, which is fair mm-hmm. if you do it, if you do it in it, it's funny. for everybody, yeah. it makes sense. I'm all for it. They do such a great job at conveying what it actually means to be someone who is a girl and thinks she's a man. Or a guy who is macho but thinks that it feels like it's wrong that he likes other men. Yeah. And they do that not in a over-the-top silly way. They do it in a way that when it talks about it, they ain't fucking around. And I love that about it. Yeah. But Final Fantasy X is my still my favorite. Oh. Which which isn't fair to any other game because it's an irrational favoritism. Yeah. Those are my top two guesses for you. Was either Kingdom Hearts 1 or Final Fantasy X? Well, you got one right. Yeah. Yep. What about you, Michelle? Okay. Um, I feel like you're going to choose one of mine. Probably. So the top two were easy to choose. Number one. Hot was... Shots Golf. <laughs> oh my God, I got to change my list. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the number one was God of War. Yeah, because which like the original? Yes, the original God of War. I honestly would have chose God of War too, but the ending just made me rage induce. It was a teaser ending. It so was it was like, Halo Two too. That was yeah. the best thing. It's like the end of Halo Two holds up a gun as they're about to take off. Where are you going, Chief? To finish this fight. Credits. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So so because I've never played God of War, I imagine it's similar to that. Yeah. Where it just, so it's that it, bad. It's of Kratos is it's, with yeah. a bunch of the Titans. And he's going to go fight Zeus, and then that's ooh, it. Yeah. ooh, that is mean. Yeah, that it was like. Ooh, at Zeus. least they came out with the next game. If they never Zeus, made a third one, oh my god, <laughs> that would be. Oh my god, like the Sopranos. It's like, oh, he lost. I guess I don't know. It was like Zeus, your son has come. And then, I'm just imagining sick. now him about to be like Zeus, your time has come. Don't stop. And credits. <laughs> I was so fucking furious at that ending. Like I just was yeah. like, no, 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 yeah, no. I remember that. Actually, I think when I played two, three was already out. Yeah. So, so I was like, oh, thank next God game. for that. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of two, and so number two was Metal Gear Solid Three. Mm. Holy yeah. fuck! I just that game like was the pinnacle of the Metal Gear Solid series. Yeah. Um, uh, excuse me. Metal Gear Survive. Like, oh hello? god, I forgot about Adam, that. Go in the corner. Think of what you just said. Go in the corner and watch. Spirits I will mute within. you guys while I do this. <laughs> go in the corner. God damn it. <laughs> uh, number three. I was having a lot of trouble, so I won't go too deep into it. But there was a few that I had to. Well, if you're gonna name off a couple, you do it quick. You're okay. not pulling this shit again. Burnout right? three. Prince That's of Persia stands the time. Okay. Devil May Cry Ooh. and Onimusha. Was, yeah. Oh, oh Onimusha. And I love, and I love that Onimusha's oh, making a comeback. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's what, is it the game where I sent the trailer? No, 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 no. One, no. They have they actually have them doing some like remasters. And oh, yeah, because okay, that, that Ghost that of one Samurai Ghost game, of, yeah. Ghost of Tsushima. Incredible. Yeah. And if that game can come to PC in three years, I'd be very <laughs> happy too, please. So I I was having a very hard time choosing my number three, but my top two was simple: God of War and Metal Gear Solid Three. Yeah. Chris. Uh, so for me, oh, so sorry. So the third one was three, like, you just had a list of like, he couldn't pick I one could of those. Not, okay. Like go with a third. I also struggled with finding. <laughs> so basically, Vicious list was God of War, Metal Gear Solid Three, and. 
I was, much. <laughs> it was like that. I mean, that's a good testament to the console. My first then. two, again, easy, and it's like picking that third one. I also had a list, but I, I, I picked one. So I'll start with the three at the bottom. I had the easiest of just literally having my shelf with all the games yeah. that I really like in yeah. front of me. So I'm like, okay, well, that one, that one, and oh, yeah, that one. Because I tried well, looking. I, wanted, I was going to, I would have chosen Resident Evil 2, but that was, that came on the GameCube first. I was going to say, didn't choose. that come on a PlayStation or not? No, PS2? GameCube first. Then Game PlayStation. No, 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 but. Didn't Resident Evil only be? It wasn't Resident Evil Two only on PlayStation. No, Resident Evil GameCube first. No, no Resident no, no. Evil Two. No, I'm asking. Four was Resident was on Evil GameCube. Two on PlayStation and not oh, PS2. No, oh, no, Resident Evil Four. four. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah, he meant four. Uh, that's why I was confused. Like, okay, yeah, what? four was like GameCube, PlayStation. I'm like, I've seen the graphics of Resident Evil Two. That is not a PS2 yeah. game. No, no, sorry. Um, yeah, because I was like, Okami, like, was a good one, like the one with the wolf. Did you see that the director is commenting that he wants Capcom to go back and make new ones? No. He came out, uh, I think it was last week, and saying, look, Okami 2, Beautiful Joe 2, yes. specifically those two things. Yeah. It's like, can, can we please? Yeah, those would be good. And then the fans were all like, yes, can we please? I heard Okami is amazing. It's fun. You can play it. I have it on Steam. Wait, do I? Or is it on the wish list? I think you oh, God, I don't even I, know at this anyway, point. I think, different, you, I think you do have yeah. it on there. Um, so my number three was, I've decided, and I was still thinking during the podcast, Metal Gear Solid 2. Believe it or not. Really? I love hey, 3. Man. 3 is a better game in every way. But it doesn't have naked riding. I just have this nostalgia for 2. I don't know why. Okay, uh, the thing is, I was, I was talking to him before you arrived, that 2, like, while it was a good game, the ending just confuses the fuck out of No, yeah, but I have no idea. But it's such a Kojima yeah. game. Kojima's like, you know what would be a great <laughs> idea? If we have a Metal Gear Solid game with a story that doesn't actually exist. The it makes no sense at all until the 4th one comes Well, out. when you think about Kojima, it makes perfect sense. Yes, it does. The amount of times I would turn on to just to play the tanker part, and then when it was like that and go to Raiden, I'd be like, okay, cool, I got my small fix. Okay. And I would do that and every is, so often. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah. The thing is with the the tanker part, it's like, it, I'd rather play the Metal Gear Solid 4 where you're playing as Rex versus Ray. That well, was but yeah, amazing. but it's also like. Ten years later, where yeah. like they perfected and I didn't, it better. I didn't love Old Snake. I, I I loved Metal Gear Solid Four, but I did not love Old Snake. He had way too nice a butt for Old Snake. Yeah, well, that's, that's, <laughs> that's about PS3, so we have to have all the way. PS3 is twenty years. Yeah, old. Yeah. yeah, good lord. Uh, um, so two and one. So number two, Final Fantasy X. Yeah. No, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm changing my answer to twelve. No, I do love ten. Uh, I also. Love I mean, 12. I wouldn't blame you for twelve. Have you seen Fran? Yeah, twelve. Ooh. Oh yeah. 12 Star, is... Star, oh, no, Star I was Wars an... Star Wars a Final Fantasy story? I was an... What's her name? Ash? Oh, Ash? Yeah. Oh, I was Wait, an Ash fan. So, purple miniskirt? Yeah. Yes, Ash. Yeah, purple miniskirt girl. Oh, my God. Holy fucking... Whatever. Anyways, um... Because it certainly wasn't Pinello. Yeah, and I... De- no. <laughs> Actually, no. Maybe. I can't remember now. No, it wasn't. No. Um, <laughs> You'd be like, I'd, no. sooner, I'd sooner go for fucking uh, Balthier. I played 12 way more than 10. Like, I actually remember being in university. I played 12 until 6.30 a.m. Showered. And then went to an exam that I did not study for. How'd you do? I got an 89 or something. Nice. Good enough. It was math. I Numbers, I'm fine with. Um, but yeah, yeah, like I played that game for 10 straight hours and then went right to an exam with no sleep. And like I was wide awake like, fuck yeah, because of that game. game. Again. Yeah, like, oh God, I love that one. But 10, there's just something about the music and the imagery the everything the characters and it's easy to remember too because it was the first one on ps2 and that's yes. where graphics started becoming like yeah okay this is actually like an upgrade because yeah. yeah 3d is an upgrade but when you really go back from super nintendo to, to playstation it's like it's yeah. not that great. and 12 well, thing, was a little more realistic is, and a lot of sand PlayStation 2 deserts. is kind of timeless yeah and also i felt from what i hear Final Fantasy X was like the last traditional Final Fantasy because the rest of them were like very well, online side mission. No, based, twelve is still very no, traditional. Yeah, but twelve I, is the last yeah. time that they really did like a good fantasy Final Fantasy, which I'd like them to go back to. Yeah, I would say ten is so nine is the last one I would consider was the traditional Final Fantasy. I mean, you could world technically map. put ten in just because it was still turn based. Ten was when they started. They got rid of the world map in the sense you could explore it. And you didn't have an airship, but it was still turn based, and you could control all 12, your characters. Yeah, twelve is probably when it started. Twelve changing. had the Final Fantasy eleven MMO engine, kind of, and yeah. you could only control your main character, and then you gave instructions to the other character, like, "Hey, you're going to heal was when everybody's neat. below fifty percent." It was pretty neat because then you could just focus on what you were doing. Uh, very strategic. I remember one time you were playing Final Fantasy thirteen on the PS three. Yeah, and that's like, just press this level. I just kept pressing X yeah. the entire time. Yeah, and then you switch paradigms. That, like, all right, we're all going to be magic 13. users. Okay, switch. Everybody's now going to do melee attacks. Okay, thirteen two is yeah. better, but man, like yeah. it, it sucks. Like if I wanted to play a game where I don't do anything, I just watch a movie. Yeah. 
Um, so that was my number two, and then my number one is Kingdom Hearts one. Of all the games I, I can't, that was gonna be his. of the games on PS2 that I want to go back and play through, like beginning to end right now, and I can't because it's not available. Man, if PC just popped out the all-in-one package, yeah, I, I would buy. I would pay a hundred fucking dollars for that. How much is it? You know what? You know why I'm worried they won't do it because Square probably knows what the fuck people will do if they can mod that game. There will be news. I mean, they put mods in Final Fantasy 15 on Steam. Like, I'm talking mods At least mods the support. characters uh, in 15... Okay, sorry, except for Iris, it, are is, actually, is like, Jasmine. look like they could be old enough. Oh, that's your issue. Yeah, yes, no, um, they're children. Every, every character in Jasmine Kingdom Hearts that isn't a Final Fantasy character or Disney... Actually, oh, no, never mind. They will definitely not It's Princess Jasmine in Kingdom Hearts. If they put it on PC, they will definitely not make it moddable because Disney will nope the fuck out of that. oh yeah yeah no uh, never mind it no. if it gets if it gets put on pc there will not be mods allowed there will be not official mods they'll no, be no, no, the... but like they steam will probably even they will probably even ask steam if this is going on your store you shut down mods. yeah 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 they will is the princess jasmine Kingdom yes Hearts one yes let the mods begin <laughs> <laughs> yeah but they definitely disney would definitely not yeah. allow that shit that game is my favorite ps2 game like just the final fantasy characters with the disney characters mixed into like this crazy story that's actually kind of for adults instead of children but i don't know it's just See, which is so this... funny because when i first heard about the game i'm like what's this fucking bullshit kids game i saw a commercial and went out and bought it the day it came out See, i was I, in I, line I, to buy I it i didn't watch tv so i didn't get uh, the commercials of this stuff did yeah. you watch like did you grow up with disney movies though or well yeah i did but i was also starting to become an edgy 14 year old so when i looked at kingdom hearts i said i don't want to play disney characters i may or may not have been in university well, yeah, but you also you also have a lot more clear because look, let's be completely honest. In high school, you were dumb as fuck. Wait, was I in high school? I, I, I may was, have been in grade. I like, uh, grew 13. up with Disney movies, and I was taking a lot of art courses in high school, and with animation especially. So, Disney was a huge part of my of my well, situation I mean, there. I loved it all too, but again, at fourteen, when you're starting to play games that are about dark and tough stuff and things, you're like, get the fuck I, out! I, I don't, I don't want to play a game where I can see Tarzan. Hmm. True. It didn't seem that interesting. And then I watched my buddy play the Sephiroth fight, and I'm like, what's Final Fantasy doing in this? <laughs> and then I watched the game, I'm like, how have I not seen this before? Why is Squall's name Leon? Yeah. Oh, Give yeah, actually, me yeah. the PS2 controller yeah. right now. So yeah, I played that game like crazy. I didn't put it down. I got every Dalmatian. I got all the side God, quests. That was so hard to do, too. Did yeah, you it finish it at 100%? 100%. Took me a long before time. There were trophies. Before there were trophies. So the, the thing is with me, I always try to finish a game 80%, so that way I got a lot out yeah, of no, it. I, I finish it this game I just wanted to keep playing. I finish it until I'm like, alright, this is I, I, I gotta I gotta finish this. Yeah, game. when I finish I'll it. I'll side quest like a motherfucker until I'm like, alright, I mean you need to stop this right now. I finished it and I hundred percented it and I wanted to keep going, but there was the nothing only left to do. The game where I really wanted to play the side quest was Arkham Knight. Mm-hmm. But that was because it really because depends the, on what you want to get out of it. Even the um well, it depends. With Arkham Knight, though, it was different because Arkham Knight, even the main story was a side quest. It wasn't like you finish the the, the main story and the game's done. Like, no, like, but what Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, there's the main quest quests, and then the side quest. Almost quest. every game has really good side quests. The problem is is that a lot of the time in the early game, the side quests can be a little bit rough. Yeah. Because you don't really know what the lore is doing. Yeah. So a lot of games, when they do side questing, it ends up being fetch quests early. Yeah. And that kind of puts people off of it. That's why Witcher 3 is so good. The side quests are like... Like early side quests in Witcher are like, holy shit. Yeah. You want me to do what to your aborted baby? <laughs> like, what <laughs> we, we went through that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, there, there's so much to that era with the PS2 that's that's so memorable. Yeah. And I mean, the fact that we had to come up with three, that was a challenge. Like I said five and we're like, wait, we might not have enough time for five. Well, yeah. there's like, th- like the first two, I was like... I got this. Well, then number three was really difficult. Because, I mean, there's so, like, even JRPGs alone, there's so much. Yeah. Like, you got Final Dragon Fantasy. Quest 8, Dragon Quest There Fantasies. was quite a few Yakuza's on the PS2, There correct? were a couple of Yakuza's on there. Star I just, Ocean. I never knew it was a thing. Star Ocean. Sweet, Xenosaga. Suikoden. Suikoden. Shadow Hearts. Shadow and, then, like, and then you had all the crazy over the top. Dark Cloud. Disgaea, I, Disgaea I, Phantom Brave. Like, all these NIS. And there's some the remasters and remakes. Like, Resident Evil. The, both Resident Evil. Well, and then Resident you get all the other stuff, right? Like, there's so much there was a sonic the hedgehog collection a mega man collection uh, the dude sonic, the mega man rpg mega the, sonic man on the, yeah. the sonic on the ps2 count though yeah yeah 
Does like, it was a collection of all the old games oh, on one okay. CD. Oh, okay. There wasn't, yeah. like, one game of Sonic specifically designed for the PS2 era? There was There was Sonic Heroes. Oh, the werewolf one. The Were Sonic. Oh, yeah. Wait, was that PS3? I no, don't know. that was definitely the next generation. Oh, Sonic okay, PS2. No, if PS2 it was Sonic Heroes. Let's that see. Sonic sucked. Mega Collection. Yeah, the Mega Collection was amazing. It was like the Sega Genesis collection on Sonic PS3. Heroes. Yes. Sonic Heroes might have been the only one. Yeah, Sonic Heroes was the only one. It wasn't great. <clears throat> Didn't love it. <laughs> I'm look. I'm looking at. There's covers of it that I don't believe. I don't think Sonic Riders. Oh, was you on know what's actually a really. Oh, good... Sonic Riders was. It there was absolutely. A, we used to an... play it after Best Buy at my ex's house. Sonic there... Unleashed apparently is. There was an Avengers Avenger. game for the PS2 that was actually really good. X um X Men Legends. Yes, it was and, that, and, 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 and Marvel Ultimate Marvel Alliance. Ultimate Alliance. Ultimate Alliance. Alliance. That was that was a good game. Yeah, those were amazing games. Fuck, there's so many good PS2 games. Like. You know what? Let me just even see. Like the problem find, is, like, is, I played a lot on the PS2, but the point I I'll go to Metacritic and see yeah. what the top rated like. Let's let's finish yeah, let's off with that. the top ten on Metacritic. Is like top an interesting thing. Top ten PS2 here. Metacritic games. Just to see where I'd we are. Go fan based so, if you can. Not one, two, like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten. I'm. You know what's? It's great that I stopped at ten because eleven and twelve are two Madden games. <laughs> 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 so. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so, oh, there's still a Madden on the list. God, he's so right. He's actually right. <laughs> so number 10 is the original Devil May Cry. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. a great fucking game. Uh, number 9 is Tony Hawk 4. Oh, the Tony oh, Hawk game? game. Those are so good. Number, yeah. number 8 is Madden NFL 2003. <laughs> number, oh my God, my orders. Number 7 is Gran Turismo 3. Gran that Turismo can game. eat my ass. Number it's six, too hard. number six, which is actually, I also would have put this in, in my top ten. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Oh, Vice City. San is so Andreas. Good. Was San never... Andreas is number five. Uh. Here's a weird thing. Metal Gear Solid Two is the only one on that list at number four. Wow. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Two has a Metacritic rating of ninety six. Number yep. three has a Metacritic rating of ninety four. Under two Madden games. <laughs> Sorry, Madden fuck? is better than Metal Gear Solid Three. <laughs> That was in actually four. to be fair. In that era, Madden games were actually like not shitty. Yeah, yeah. PS2 also, sports games were. And, and also, we didn't know better that like. Well, it, they, they weren't microtransactioning exactly. the fucking Madden. Yeah. yeah, they actually had to try making good games instead of roster <laughs> updates. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Metal Gear Solid Two is number four. Number three is Resident Evil Four. Okay. Yeah, number I two, that. I don't agree with this because I think in retrospect the other two Grand Theft Auto games are better, but three is listed at number two. Oh, okay. Because that was probably because it's just. A lot of Again, time, yeah. a it, lot was, of it was it was it was a masterpiece at the time. Yeah, but the games are so much better. The ratings yeah. are City, probably yeah. there from when they first yeah. came out. Uh, the best game, according to Metacritic, is Tony Hawk Three. Okay, I mean, it so, was an incredibly popular game, and now, it was also on the PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah. Let's see if user score. Okay, internet, you, you could work for me. That'd be really cool. There yeah. we go. Uh, that is not. God damn it! Uh, it switched to all games i'm like no no that's not what i wanted you to do it's like bayonetta and vanquish i'm like no that is not how did that get so fucking because they i mean if you look at this it's gonna be call of duty if you look at ps3 call of duty is gonna be up there i don't know if i'll be able to get it by user score in this case for the ps3 i don't think i'm gonna be able to do this by user score are you going to let us down? It's being a little bit mean. So the only thing I can do is, I think, PlayStation 2 role-playing. If I mess with this... Okay, role-playing this, is... This, is... this is great podcasting material right now. I'm going to see if I can do one cheapy little cheeky thing with the link here to see if that helps. Did you try unplugging it and plugging it back in? No, I did not do that, unfortunately. Oh. I didn't no wonder blow... it's not working. I didn't blow on the cartridge either. Well, that wouldn't make sense. It's a God. laptop. Damn it, Adam. Does this link work? Come on. Come on. Let me outsmart the browser. Come on, Let me outsmart. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, damn it. All right, I'm not going to try. Because uh, the best role-playing game, according to Metacritic, by user scores, Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay. And Final Fantasy X is number two. Okay. Well, so in all fairness, that was your, like, top two. Yeah. So it's not so bad. But yeah, PS2. Fucking phenomenal console. Yeah, Sorry. so many Totally phenomenal console. Oh, it was, like, it was one of the top consoles of all time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's PS2 and Super Nintendo. It's got I, I Honestly, I would say PlayStation and Super Nintendo. All right. Yeah. So we, we've run a lot longer than I thought we would. It's quarter to ten, and bar time is, is, bar time. is on the rise. Yes. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for checking us out. Links to all our social media accounts are in the description if you're watching on YouTube. Otherwise, uh... uh and this uh, episode will be on YouTube. Yes, it will. Yes, yes it will.
Unfortunately. Wait, unfortunately or fortunately? Can't tell. Fortunately. And let's make Madden great again. Uh, probably not, because 2K's not going to do that either. Yeah, Thanks I for know. listening to the VCR <laughs> Podcast, guys, and we will catch you on the next episode. Later, friends. Later, y'all.